Language is something that we grew up with and comes naturally to us as we learn more and more. Therefore, many times, people took being able to communicate with other people for granted like I did. Although I was born in America, I moved to Hong Kong when I was three months old. I started my education there until third grade, and my family then decided to move to San Francisco. When I still lived in Hong Kong, I had a maid, and we were completely fine with communicating through English. So eventually, when it was time to come to America, I naturally thought it would be the same, that I will also be able to communicate with people because I was able to communicate with my maid back in Hong Kong. Later, I figured that I was wrong. Not only was I not able to talk to them in English, I was having trouble understanding what they were saying. At that moment, I realized that I always took language for granted. The fact that I grew up in that environment that speaks that language, so that's why I understand it naturally. But once I came to America, the understanding of one language was taken away from me. I did not fit in with any of my classmates because I was not able to communicate with them. Bullying was a huge problem for me because I was not able to defend myself. There was the California standardized test right about two weeks before I started school. And that really showed me that I didn't know enough English to communicate with the environment around me. A faculty member had to sit with me while I took the test to read the English words very slowly hoping that I would understand but I was still having a hard time as it was not a language that I was very familiar with yet. Not being able to understand the words, although someone read it to me slowly, really surprised me since I was able to communicate with my maid just fine back in Hong Kong. It was a requirement for people to learn English in Hong Kong, so I already have some idea of how English is like and how to say some sentences. When I started school in America, my teacher would always separate me from my other classmates because of the difference in our English proficiency level. I would always be in the corner with a workbook learning the alphabets that I already know. I feel like at that age was when most people start getting more familiar with their own language or learning a language. But I missed that opportunity because all my teachers in my elementary school simply assumed that I came to America with absolutely no English background and always gave me work that I understood. My classmates would naturally not want to talk to me because I was different from them. I have lost the privilege to speak to people and have worked hard to learn English and gaining the privilege of not just speaking but to communicate with other people again. 